okay next in task 3 we will see how to configure the web app deployment settings okay go to the app services and the new web app that we have created and under deployment click on deployment slots and click on the newly created uh, staging slot and in this plate click on deployment center under deployment and select the settings tab and select the source as a local git and click on save okay so um, just to make a note of this git clone uri we will need this in the next task okay next uh, in the deployment center blade select local git ftps credential tab and scroll down under the user scope enter the username must be globally unique and set the password make sure it meet the uh, the complexity of the uh, the password rule Okay, and click on save so next in task 4 we will see how to deploy go to the staging deployment slot okay let's open the azure cloud shell and if you do not have the storage account created then you have to create first for me i have created already so it's just directly getting the login prompt okay make sure powershell selected and i'm going to run the following command to clone the code from the github next run the following command to set the location next run the following command to add the remote git git remote add and the deployment username that we have uh, created uh, in the previous session in the git clone uri that we have copied so next run the following command to push the sample web app code from the local repository to the Azure web app staging deployment slot. Git push, enter the deployment username, master. enter the username and password
okay so this has completed so close the cloud shell and click on overview for the staging slot and copy the url and access it in the new tab okay so we get the hello world message from the staging slot okay in the next task we'll see how to swap the staging slot